All right, F-18 time again. Using a... What happened to my tail? Well, apparently I somehow managed to smash a tail there. I'm not sure how that happened or when that happened. It'll hold up, I think. Anyway, I did manage to break off one of the little wing things, whatever it's supposed to be. When I got it out of the car, so I decided to just rip them both off, because why? I don't want that thing sticking out anyway. It looks stupid and it's just in the way. So I took it off. Anyway, using a heavier battery, I put it just a hair forward of all the way back. CG is probably, if I would guess, at, oh, what, 69 maybe? So, uh, we'll try that and see how that works. Oh. It flies fine, it's not the flying part of the problem. It's, I'm struggling landing this thing, so we'll see if I can just spend some time trying to figure out how to land it. So, yeah, I just need to figure out how to land this plane. See, I'm already too high for that approach. I can't land it there because I'm going to run out of runway. <laughs> that, that's, that's the problem I have this plane. It comes in so fast. And... I'll try to go further out, but I don't want to go too far and hit the trees because I can't really tell where they're at. So, See, now it just stalls. See, that's the problem. I run out of runway. <laughs> and it doesn't help that my entire runway is down the hill either, so... I don't have an approach coming uphill, so it's my only option, really. So, yeah, so the approach was fine there, I suppose. I just need to, uh... If I didn't have that snow over there, I can come down a little bit lower, but... I kind of want to make sure I have enough altitude and speed to make sure I can come across that because I don't want to fly into the back of it. So. I see this shoots up. See what happens. I wonder if that makes a difference. Shouldn't, I suppose, but maybe it does. No. See, that's the problem. It just it slows down, and then it's, when it slows down, it slows down suddenly. It doesn't have a in between. It seems. get off the throttle to slow it down, but then it slows down too much, and then um, I come down too hard, like that. Doesn't want to roll off the, the ground either. It's, Sits and sits and sits and then suddenly shoots up. Uh, yeah. Stabilizer doesn't seem to make any difference come landing time, so I might as well just leave it on. Nah, I'm too high anyway, so I might as well abort that one. Too hot. 
I'm not able to slow that down enough. Yeah, this is a... Uh, not an easy plane to land here. I think at least. I'm sure someone else might be doing better at this than I am, but... Oh, clear that, clear it! <laughs> yeah, I think if the snow wasn't there, I'd be more comfortable coming in and I wouldn't have such a hard time getting it down, but having to clear that snow, it just, uh... My gear is crooked now. Check my gear, see if that's coming loose or what it is doing. Yeah. It's crooked. There we go. Oh yeah, somehow apparently managed to bend my horizontal stabilizer there. I'm not sure when that happened. This one's fucking too high. Maybe I'll do it. See if I can like, stiffen that up with some carbon fiber rods or something. Anyway, I'm gonna make a, one more go around here probably and I'll head to work. But yeah, it's just a, I'm trying to figure out how to land this thing and I. <clears throat> it seems to have a very narrow window of landing speed. It's just getting it slowed down to that with my approach here and keeping it high enough to clear that snow. Seems to be a little bit of an issue, but... Come on, plane! Yeah, it just like stuck to the ground then suddenly popped up. Yeah. 10.4 volts already. This is gonna be too fast. I betcha. Yeah. See? Looks like I gotta start planning my landing all the way over here. Keep it low. Just high enough to see it above the shed there. Turn it, line it up. It's way too, still too fast. There's no way, no way I'm getting it down there. So next time will have to be a good try because if not, I'm going to run out of battery. I think so. Not horrible. It's a little, a little hard of a touchdown, but I don't know. I think maybe once the snow is gone, I'll be able to come in lower there and touch down sooner. I'll be all right. Anyway, I think that's good enough as far as. Flying on this battery, it's been down to 9.9 .9 already. So it's 11.2 now. I remember last time, the first time I maiden it, it was a 10.9, and then I hit LVC. So I'm thinking uh, once you start hitting 11, that's probably good enough. So things to do if I kind of just try it here. That 10.9, half, half throttle, 10.6, full throttle. Yeah, full throttle, it goes down to 9.9, .9, so. That is uh, probably good enough. Yeah, now it's hovering at 9.8. There, oh, now it's back to 11.2, so. 
Yeah, pretty much when it starts hitting 11.2 or so. Uh, means it's time to quit. But anyway, uh, I guess that wasn't a total failure. Not the prettiest of landings, but a whole lot better than my first attempts. Um, whether or not that actually has anything to do with the CG moving forward, I don't know. If it's just me being, you know, more picky about my landing approach and not trying to land it if it's not perfect-ish.